You want to lose weight this year, you want to get fit, you want to get healthy, you set your routines, you set your systems, you set your goals, but you're still struggling with your consistency. Let's talk about it. Hello and good morning and welcome back to my channel. I'm Naturally Ray or you can just call me Ray. Now, if you know you watch my videos back to back to back to back and have not subscribed, why not make sure you subscribe and hit your notification bell so you don't miss when i upload future vlogs and videos where i talk about health fitness and lifestyle now if you've watched a couple of weight loss videos or what i eat in a day videos i'm sure you have heard the popular phrase consistency is key and even on my channel and a couple of my videos i mention it as well and that's because it is the secret sauce when it comes to getting fit getting healthy and and losing weight and of course along with consistency is the obvious discipline that you would need but in today's video I'll be giving you tips on how to stay consistent when your motivation fades because trust me your motivation will fade so you will have to learn how to be disciplined and stay consistent at the beginning of this year I did a video where I talked about developing certain habits to help you to lose weight in the last week's video I did a video where I talked about building a routine and building systems with these habits to also help you to get fit, get healthy and lose weight. And in today's video, I'll be talking about how you can stay consistent and disciplined with those habits and with those routines. I will actually link those videos below so you all can check it out in the description box. So there's an overarching theme for some of these tips and this is something that I really want you to understand is that you cannot stay consistent with an unsustainable lifestyle. So whether it's your work out your dietary choices the amount of water that you consume on a daily basis if it's something that you cannot stick to in the long term more than likely you're not gonna stay consistent to it and then you won't be able to see the progress that you want we're at the beginning of March and now is a perfect time to reevaluate the habits the routines and the systems that you've put in place and see if it is that you're actually being consistent if it is that you're struggling more than likely You'll have to tweak some things in your systems, tweak some things in your daily or weekly routines, look at your non-negotiables, and you may just have to consider doing a little bit of reset, doing a little bit of a reset, or possibly just tweaking one or two things. You may not need to make drastic changes, but you definitely need to reassess how things are progressing. So the first tip with staying consistent is that whatever habits and routines and systems you implement, I want you to make sure that it's enjoyable. Now, this could be a little bit nuanced because you wanna come out of your comfort zone Sometimes you want to do the hard things, sometimes you want to make certain sacrifices, but you want to do something that is sustainable, it's effortless, and you don't feel as though you're struggling to get it done in order to be consistent. If you're not starting off with your fitness and weight loss journey, or maybe you're at a plateau right now and you find things are so challenging, maybe consider doing things that are enjoyable. If you dread doing something, you're setting yourself up for failure. You will be miserable even if you complete your workout. Some people go so hard and with so much intensity and long hours of exercising and that's totally unnecessary to achieve your desired results. You really should not be hating your workout and exercising. Now of course you may not enjoy every single movement in every single set but at least there should be a positive connection to the thought of exercising and just a positive association with exercise as a whole now when i started my weight loss journey i did a lot of hit exercises and cardio and some of the movements i didn't really like as much but i just kind of pushed through but when i discovered well not discovered when it is i started doing strength training and resistance training y'all i loved it so much and even though strength training is not easy I just felt so much better when it is I realized my I was increasing my strength I was lifting more weight I was doing more reps in my sets y'all I loved it so much and it gave me a sense of like confidence I was like really confident I began seeing a lot of changes in my body and let me just say this right if you're a petite like me I'm four feet eleven when it comes to us losing weight of course nutrition is a big thing and we'll get to that soon but 
don't focus too much on cardio do a lot more resistance training do a lot more strength training i actually did a video on body recomposition because the way that my body started to change in a short space of time from doing strength training if you're a newbie because i'm i am still considered a newbie i do my workouts at home i don't do it at the gym and i have a lot of body fat to lose so if you're a newbie you have a lot of body fat to lose trust me check out that body recomposition video i will link it in the description because you will get a lot of gains you will see your body changing really quickly just from doing some of some simple simple steps anyways <laughs> that was a little bit of a tangent but the, the point is i did not dread exercising as much no i didn't dread doing um, the hit exercises but this point really is to focus on things that you like a lot more if you don't like running if you don't like going on the stair master if you don't like doing burpees then don't do it focus on similar exercises that you may like because of course you want to work out your upper body you want to work out your lower body but try not to do a lot of exercises at least the majority of the time that you don't enjoy you don't want to reach your goals you're looking good but when you think back think back on your journey it's like i had to go through so much it was so hard there are times things will be hard there are times you do have to make sacrifices but like I said before, the majority of the times you want to look back at your journey and say, you know what, I enjoyed this journey getting to the better and healthier version of myself. Another tip that will help you to stay consistent is tracking. Now tracking, not to be meticulous with details, but just to gauge how consistent you are over time. For example, if you're tracking while you're navigating your dietary choices, you may want to look at the ingredients that you're consuming. You maybe want to shift to more of a plant-based whole foods type of diet you may want to put more emphasis on eating more protein in each meal you may want to reduce the amount of sugary drinks that you consume on a day-to-day -day basis so i would have shown you all my wellness journal on my channel a couple of times before and i really love this journal because it helps me to track what i'm having for breakfast lunch dinner snack no i actually don't use the journal all the time but i really love the fact that it helps me to keep on track it also has a section where you can write out your workouts how you feel after your workouts it even has an area where you can track how much water you drink on a daily basis i think there's also a part let me see i think it's where you have daily affirmations or oh, it actually has areas if you need to take vitamins or if it is that you need to take supplements it has an area to remind you of that and it also has a daily affirmations now i put a bible verses because they're better than affirmations <laughs> but anyway i love this because it really helps me to stay on track now something that i would admit <laughs> now the thing is i talked about this on my channel before when i first started my weight loss journey i had uh, meal plans that were customized for me particularly uh, for my height i'm a petite and i just love the fact that i didn't have to count calories and i still don't count calories however i noticed that over time i stopped using my food scale i stopped using my um, measurement cups that i followed on my uh customized meal plan and i started eyeballing things and then i realized you know what i am plateauing and there were times where i was gaining weight and i was like what is happening only to realize that my eyeballing of what I thought was maybe one cup or maybe 30 grams was twice the amount. <laughs> and let me be honest, when it is I started doing my research, I realized that a lot of people do that. I want to say more than 50% of people, they overestimate or is it underestimate? Basically, if they're thinking they're eating maybe one cup of rice they're really eating too like people really do not know how much is the portion of one cup half a cup quarter cup how much grams we, we most people do not know that so there was a point in time i really had to dial it back and start measuring now another thing where i mentioned i don't count calories i try to follow the 80 20 rule y'all 
that was something I just used to say but I never really followed and not not purposely I just didn't realize how much 20 20 percent was I actually took out my calculator and I said okay 30 days in a month how much is 20 percent of 30 days yo that's really just eating I was gonna say cheat meals but I, I try not to say cheat meals because I feel as though it's just a day you're not sticking to the 80 percent because I find when you say cheat it has this negative connotation to it anyway I'm not gonna get into that in this video but basically I realized that if I'm having a really nice treat whether it's on a Monday or whether it's on a Saturday I should not be doing that two to three times during a week because that really would not work up to my 20% now again I am very far away from my goals so trying to be a little stricter is what works for me if the 80 20 rule does not work for you then don't do it but that is what should work for me and I say should because I really wasn't doing the 20% I'm also saying this to say that I decided to finally download the My Fitness Pal app. Now, one of the reasons I didn't want to download it is because number one, I didn't need to when I was sticking to my customized meal plans, and then number two, um, I heard about a lot of I guess inconsistencies with some of the actual calories and how people were counting, etc., etc. I am using the My Fitness Pal app, and it's a free version. I just downloaded it on my phone just to gauge how much calories I am eating with foods that how are not on the customized meal plan that I got at the beginning of my weight loss journey so that I can really honestly just keep track now I'm not doing that every day I'm not doing that every day <laughs> because it, it's too much I do not I honestly do not know how people measure out everything and measure cal it, it's too much I cannot do it but listen if it works for you maybe if you want to do it for a couple of weeks maybe a couple of months and you really need to use that to be consistent and stick to your goals then do that so I mentioned tracking your water before and this is also something that a lot of people underestimate I want you to really track how much water you drink every day. Of course, it may vary in terms of what is recommended for you based on if you're male, female, your height, your weight, if you exercise a lot, if it is you live in hot climates like here in Trinidad, whatever it may be, I want you to track it because sometimes you'll ask somebody, how much water you drink a day? Yeah, I drink, I drink enough water, I drink enough water. All this time they drink three glasses of water for the whole day and that is not good enough. You really need to make a, um, I was going to say make a list, but actually write down and have a, a method and a system of tracking it until it is you know you're, you're actually being consistent and you're mindful about how much water you consume on a day-to-day -day basis. Another tip that can help you to stay consistent is to eat more home-cooked foods. And this is not so much meal planning, even though that's part of it, but when it is you cook your foods at home, especially if it's more whole foods, you have have a better gauge as to the ingredients that you put in it you know how much salt how much sugar you can actually measure how much carbs proteins fats that you're consuming and you have more control of what you're putting into your body and you're less likely to over consume because like i mentioned in a lot of my videos you're likely to consume a lot more ultra processed foods than home cooked foods especially if it's whole foods another tip to stay consistent is to educate yourself on what your body needs what type of food you should be eating listen to podcasts listen to audiobooks watch youtube videos watch my videos a shameless plug <laughs> but anyways make sure that you're watching these videos or listening to these podcasts so that you have a good idea as to the nutrients and the food you should be consuming the exercises you should be doing of course you don't have to get into all of the research and science but just have a general idea or at least a better idea as to what you should be doing have a balance between healthy and nutrient dense foods and then your treat meals but don't make excuses to say well i don't eat vegetables i don't like vegetables there has to be some type of vegetable that you eat on a day-to-day -day basis at this point when it comes to your health ignorance is not bliss 
Another tip to stay consistent is to surround yourself with a supportive community, have accountability. Sometimes it's your very friends or family members that derail you from staying on track and staying consistent. And unfortunately, sometimes these same people who keep telling you, girl, you don't need to lose no weight, they like overweight. <laughs> If I'm being very real with you, a lot of times the very people who are telling you no, it's okay to be overweight, no, it's okay to stay fat, they themselves not even making the effort to get healthy and lose weight. So listen, don't listen to those people. <laughs> I am sorry if they're your friends, I'm sorry if they're your family, and I think you all can really glean from my facial expression that I have going through some of these things from some friends and some family members when it comes to your health your fitness and your weight loss associate yourself with like-minded people build a community whether it's in person whether it's online there are so many online communities that you can use for support you have your coaches your fitness coaches you have people who can be nutritionists, dietitians, and even if you don't have a nutritionist, you don't have a dietitian, there are so many resources online, there are so many communities that people build online for support. Surround yourself with supportive people. Do not let other people derail you from your goals. Now another tip to staying consistent is to be flexible and being realistic. And I'm not talking about where people say, oh, is that realistic goals? You can't lose 20 pounds in two weeks. Well, actually, yeah, there are some people who may be able to lose 20 pounds in two weeks if you are really overweight or obese and you have a lot of body fat to lose. Sometimes that first week or two, you can lose a lot of water weight and that could actually end up being 20 pounds. But for someone like me, <laughs> who, uh, well, I'm 4 feet 11, I am overweight, but I don't have that much body fat to lose. A realistic goal for me would be one to two pounds per week. So maybe you'll have to work it out based on where you're at in terms of your BMI, etc., your body fat percent, your bone, and then you could say bone mass, your muscle mass, your lean mass, etc. All that being said, it's not just about being realistic. I want you to be a little more on the flexible side. What I mean by that? Sometimes you will set a goal and say, okay, by this particular month, I want to lose this amount of weight. I want to fit into this clothes. You have all of these goals. But I want you to be flexible, but also take into consideration that if you miss a workout day, you're not going to feel pressured or you're not going to feel guilty or you're not going to feel as though the next day I have to make up for it. Or if it is you go out with your friends and you have a good time that night or you go out with your family and you maybe overindulge in certain treats and you maybe just overeat, don't feel as though the next day you have to restrict what you're eating and just drink a lot of water or skip breakfast or skip lunch or skip dinner no be flexible you're not gonna do that two or three times or four times a week at least you shouldn't be doing that so even if it happens ever so often the flexibility allows you space not to feel pressured to then restrict that is something that let me tell you that that is maybe one of the points I should have put at the beginning because it's definitely something that I went through where I know I had a goal, I want to lose a certain amount of weight by a certain time and if I fall off, fall off for a day. And listen, falling off cannot just happen in a day, it happens over time. But even if I go out and I enjoy myself with my friends, the next day I would be like, okay, I ate all of this, I had all that ice cream, I had all that cake, I ate all that pasta that tastes so good. Next day, I want to restrict. Don't do that. Follow, keep to your routine, keep to your systems, keep to your daily habits the following day. That one day cannot or at least should not throw you off so much in terms of your overall weight loss goals. That particular week, the scare may look a little funny, but it's fine. That's just that week. Stay consistent, stay disciplined, stay on track. 
with your systems and your goals and in the long run and in the long term you will reach where you need to reach another tip that will help you to stay consistent is to celebrate the small wins look at improvements over perfection aim at getting one percent better every single day for example you realize that this week you stuck to how much water you said you were going to drink versus last week where you maybe drank half the amount celebrate that win or maybe this week you actually exercise three times this week while last week or maybe last month you only did it once a week or maybe once for the month <laughs> but whatever small achievements you make celebrate those small wins over time you will progress over time you will improve over time you will develop those habits over time you will develop the discipline and the consistency and then you will see the progress you will get your desired results this is called a fitness journey and a weight loss journey and this journey never really ends because even when it is you reach your goal you have to maintain you want to continue staying fit staying healthy making sure that you're eating the right foods that you're moving your body consistently on a day-to-day -day basis so it really never ends but i really hope that these tips can help you to stay consistent and stay disciplined so that you can reach your goals let me know in the comments what are some of your small wins even though you may have fallen off here and there maybe you fall off, fell off in january maybe you fell off in february now that we're in the beginning of march maybe you're starting to plateau but i Want you to look back let me know what are some of your small wins have you been drinking more water have you been at least trying to exercise a little more even if it's just an extra 10 minutes an extra 15 minutes you don't have to go to the gym like i said in other videos if you need to go to the gym please go to the gym but if you're doing workouts at home let me know how that's going if you're trying more home cooked foods trying out new recipes let me know how that's going as well if you enjoy these tips make sure you give this video a like give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe let me know what type of videos you would like to see in terms of with my weight loss journey and i hope everything is going well on your side let me know how things are going and as always try your best to become the healthiest version of yourselves bye guys mm -hmm.